Welcome or welcome back, I'm Cisco. In this video, we're going to look how to graph a trigonometric function called cosecant. And if you notice here, I said to use a table. I'm not going to use a table. Use the interval 2 pi, 0 to pi. Yeah, uh, we'll, the whole, we'll do the, the, we're going to do the graph on this interval. And use the unit sequence. No, no, I'm not going to use the unit sequence. So then, how am I going to graph cosecant? Very simple. If you remember, that cosecant, right, cosecant, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So how am I going to use sine for graphing cosecant? Very simple. Ooh, let's take a look here. Okay, so sine of x, if we remember, the period is 2 pi and the amplitude is 1. Zero. 2 pi, and we're going to take these 5 points, then uh, pi in the middle, pi over 2 here, and 3 over pi over 2 here. These are the 5 important points of sine of x in that interval 0 to pi. And why these points are important? Because the first one is an intercept, the second one is a mass of 1, the, second, the third one, going back to a 0, the fourth one is a mean of negative 1, because the amplitude is 1, and this one is a 0. And the graph keeps going like that forever and ever. So now, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw some vertical line, which are the asymptotes of cosecant. Why these are the asymptotes? Because the sine of x is 0 there, so the cosecant is not defined. And then look at here, this is the last part you need to do. Grab this u, like that, and you finish the graph. That's it, this is the cosecant of x between 0 and 2 pi. Let's see a better graph. You see it here, and also here you can see the cosecant, this one, uh, the, the green one, and the sine, the red one. We use, I use always the sine to graph the cosecant. So here I have some property which are the same as the graph of sine. You know, this is the very important thing, and then the asymptotes. Okay, so let's see here how we do a graph. Okay, so we have y equals cosecant of 2x. So First thing I'm going to write is the sine of 2x, right? The reciprocal of a cosecant of 2x. The period of this guy will be 2 pi over 2, right? These two cancel out, so the period is pi. And the amplitude obviously is 1. So we have 0 and pi, and then here, right here in the middle, pi over 2. Right here in the middle, pi over 4. Right in here in the middle, 3 pi over 4. And like this, I said before, this is a 0, a max, a 0, a mean, a 0. And this guy goes forever. My next thing will be, if you remember, draw the asymptotes. In this case, the red line, you see it here. And then draw the U's. And this is the cosecant of 2x. You can see it here better. Okay? We'll go ahead and try this one, and we'll see it's how it looks like.
if you have something like that and you did a wonderful job, I don't know if you notice, I have a, a missing value there, which is uh, between 0.25 and 0.5, right in the middle. So let's let me use a calculator to just be sure I get the right thing. Yep, I was thinking about 0 0.375, and that is the graph. You can see it here, and you notice asymptote here, asymptote here, 0.25, asymptote but 0.5, and you see more from this graph. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, don't forget to click the like button and come back on Cisco for more help. Thank you.